Hey guys, uh, a couple of weeks ago I did a little uh, day camp on uh, the river and uh, I had a couple of questions about a few items that were in my, uh, my Alice pack whenever I did the, uh, the unloading video. Um, one of them was uh, the little stoves uh, that I was using and I believe the guy was asking about the the stove that was on the bottom of my companion cup uh, but I'm also going to go ahead in this video and show the little alcohol stove that I also use with it. Uh, this is just a, a guy up design 38 ounce uh, straight wall bottle and a Snow Peak 700 as a companion cup. Uh, this stove and first off I want to go ahead and say um, when I upload this video, I'm going to go find the guys. Uh, I don't know if he has a channel, uh, but he has a website uh, where he shows how he made one of these uh, little stoves for this setup. And it's almost identical to this one. It's really weird. Uh, I was uh, doing some searching around while I was at work this week. And I came across his video, or not his video, but it, the website that shows this. And uh, so anyway, uh, just to cure up any confusion, uh, I want to go ahead and say that there is somebody out there that made one that's pretty close to this. Um, I think his is a little bit, some of the materials are a little different, uh, but it's fairly close to this. Uh, this was actually a stainless steel cup. Uh, I believe I got out of Home Depot where the grill section is. I think it's like a, a cup that you use for your uh, uh, barbecue sauce or whatever. Uh, but what I did is I took uh, some screws, some stainless steel screws. I drilled a hole. I put two screws, stainless steel nuts on this side with some stainless steel uh, washers that you would use like for uh, if you're putting them in a boat or something. Um, the, the screws I put in there have kind of uh, a hex head looking thing. Uh, the underneath I just put another stainless steel screw and tightened it up. Um, I cut a big hole in the center because uh, I knew I was going to use it also as a, uh, an alcohol stove. Uh, for my companion cup whenever I didn't want to have to uh, make a fire uh, to you know heat up water or whatever. Um, I just drilled a bunch of holes in the top uh, to help get the flames coming up through it. Uh, I don't know that you actually need all those holes. Uh, I've got it probably uh, at least a quarter inch, maybe three-eighths of an inch high. So there's a there's quite a bit of room underneath the bottle, which it, it, it works well with the bottle. Uh, you can make a fire under it. I doubt you would have enough alcohol in the little stove that I have to actually boil water with it. Uh, but it does work really good with my Snow Peak 700. Uh, basically, I just cut the, the front of it off. Uh, and the reason that I cut, I didn't leave the lip running all the way around as I seen in the picture of the other guy that made one. I wanted this to be able to slide underneath the handles on my Snow Peak 700 and then I could put the bottle in it and it's pretty, I wouldn't call it compact because this is definitely not a, an ultra light setup. Uh, but I do like to use it with my when I take my Alice pack or if I'm in my canoe or, or whatever because this is a, a pretty versatile little setup. And this cup, I'm, I'm working on, or not the cup, but the uh, little stove, I'm working on another one right now. Uh, I found some aluminum cups that are fairly thick aluminum. Um, I'm cutting them down and modifying them and uh, I'll give you guys a look-see on that whenever I get it done. Uh, if it works out well, I found them cups at uh, the uh, flea market and I'm going to go back this weekend, excuse me, 
Uh, I'm going to go back this weekend and I'm going to buy every one of the cups that they had uh, because I really think it's going to work out a lot better than this one. Uh, th this thing is just, for me, I just, I don't want it. It's just too heavy. Uh, but the other one is, is I think, it's going to work out really well. Uh, the little stove that I use with it. This is kind of a combination of something. Uh, Edward uh, over at Sousaville Outdoors uh, a, month, a couple months ago sent me a little stove and uh, I played around with it and I kind of screwed it up uh, to be honest with you. Um, but I was talking to Edward and he was telling me how to make another a little stove out of a energy bottle, a monster energy bottle cap. And I don't know if I did it the way he was talking about, uh, um, but what I did was I took the, the energy bottle ca uh, cap and then I took the, the, uh, uh, my mind kind of went blank. Uh, the carbon fiber, or not carbon fiber, but the carbon felt uh, that was in the stove that Edward sent me, uh, it already had this little mushroom top on it. And so I, what I did was I cut a round circle of it, and there's about three or four layers. Um, let's see, one, two, maybe three layers. And I cut a hole in the center of it, and then I pulled this felt through that hole. And this thing works pretty good. It will boil two cups of water. Um, I did it when I was out on the uh, little sandbar. And uh, what I did was I dug a little hole to kind of help with the wind because it was a little windy that day. And uh, see if I can do this where you guys can see it. Uh, it fits, you know, just right underneath this uh, little uh, uh, cup that I made the stove out of. Uh, so it works really well. I don't know if you can see this. I'll try to poke it up through here. And it's a, the hole in the cup is a little bigger than the diameter of the cap. But the flames were coming up probably this high around the cup. So it was getting a lot of heat on the bottom of the cup. Um, this is just the, the little tin that uh, Susaville had sent me uh, with the, uh, I think it had some of his fire starters in it. And matter of fact, I've got one of them in here now, uh, just in case if I need it. I know I can also stick this underneath it and I know it'll pretty much boil water in that. Uh, but anyway, I hope that answered your questions. Uh, I apologize, I forget the guy's name. Uh, I, I'll be sure to put his, when I get this uploaded, I'll be sure to put a link to his uh, channel that was asking the question. Uh, but anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching my videos.